Okay, another interesting function of active storage is uh, previews for the process of uploading files. For example, we're uploading a few big files and our users are going to have a beautiful styling of the process of the upload. So let's try to add this and see how it works on practice. Now, inside the docs, we have this part to direct uploads. So we're going to make it work. First, we're going to say direct upload true to all our file fields. So we're going to go to our form and here we're going to say direct upload true and direct upload true. Okay, next we are going to go and uh, here it says that we need to add some JS and some CSS. So I will copy this JS, I will go to our app, JavaScript, and here we are going to create uh, a new file named direct uploads.js. We are going to add this JS here, and we also need to have a style sheets file. So we are going to grab this code and create a direct uploads.css file. So we're going to style sheets. Here we will also create direct uploads.css and import this here. Now we need to also require this direct upload JS in our application JS. So we are going to say import direct uploads. And let's see if it works. Now I will also restart the server. And now I will try to add a few bigger files like audios. So I press open and update the post. And you see, we get this beautiful animation of uh, the posts, uh, the files being uh, uploaded to our server. And seems to work uh, well. Okay, so it works in our development environment. You see, we have our active storage service set to local in our development environment. But what if we make it work in uh, production? So let's see if it works the same way in production. I'm going to change local to Amazon and I'm going to restart the server. Now it doesn't seem to be working, just a moment. Okay, I've stopped the server and I've restarted again, Rails server. Now did this have my changes here? No, I did not. Okay, I restarted my server and now let's see if it uh, gets uploaded. I will add, let's say, uh, one file and press upload post. And I get some kind of error. Now, will we see this error in our logs? No, not really. Let's have a look at our error in inspect. And here we get cross origin request blocked on the Amazon side. So reason cause header is missing. So we need to add the cross origin resource settings uh, access to our Amazon S3 bucket. Now I'm going to our bucket here. I have it open in Amazon S3. I have our super rails bucket and we'll need to go to permissions. And here on the bottom, we have cross origin resource sharing settings and we'll have to edit these. Now, the easiest option is to just allow everything. So we're going to add something like this. You'll also be able to see this in the readme for this uh, source code. You can just add something like this to allow get boost and, and uh, put from all resources, but you can also make it available only from local host or only from your Heroku production environment. For example, I can make it like this. Instead of setting everything, I can say allow from my development environment and allow from Heroku. So I will save my changes and try once again. I'm going to refresh the page, go to images. Yeah, at the moment it doesn't have to be only an image. It can be basically anything. We didn't add any validations yet and press upload. And you see it has been uploaded and we can beautifully track the process of it being uploaded. So we have pressed submit the, the form and you see one file was added, 
Now the second file is being added. And it worked. Let's also try to display these files in our S3. I will go to objects. I will refresh. And here are these newly added objects that weigh already seven megabytes and six megabytes respectively. So what have we done now? We've uh, added cross-origin resource sharing settings for our Amazon S3 bucket so that we can uh, use uh, direct upload in our development environment. And it will also work easily in production because we've whitelisted our production URL in the cross-origin resource sharing also. And what have we done on the Rails part? We went to our form and added direct upload true. And we've created a JS file, direct upload JS, direct upload CSS, and imported the direct uploads file to our application JS. And you'll be able to find the code for direct upload JS and CSS inside the active storage uh, uh, settings. I will also include the link to the video in the description, uh, to this uh, readme in the description, and uh, the cross-origin resource sharing examples are also available in the readme to the video. So I hope you enjoyed it and don't have problems with S3.